It's Zadira and I'm in Farm Together. That It's a little game that we're playing with our friends. And I don't know if you can notice, but my character looks a lot different. <laughs> As we've leveled up, we got all kinds of new little hairdos and new clothes. And oh my goodness, just so cute. Look at my new backpack. Isn't this adorable? Oh my gosh, this game. Also, if you look, my farm looks totally, totally different. Let's go and if we press C, that takes us out once. If we press C again, it zooms us out even more. And look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you remember, we had the windmill in the last episode when we did our one land expansion. But if you look, now we have the land expansion over here. That's going to be, and it was full of rocks. I thought that was an interesting area. I thought it might be the perfect acreage to put down a fish farm. And I think I'll just do all my fish in that one acreage area. It's kind of hard to plant a lot of crops. Those crops that you see were mostly already there. Um, so I'll probably be picking up all the crops. I might put a few trees around, but um, mainly that's going to be my fish farm. Uh, I don't up in here and where we live in Idaho, people have these big fish farms, and that's all it is—just is just acres of fish. So I think I'm going to make that into a fish farm. I've been working a little bit. It's, I don't want to do, be too exact of where I want to put things yet because you're, if, as you add expansions, you can see that corner right there is going to be an expansion eventually. And if we look at our map, you can definitely see. Here's our here's our starting area. Wherever your bus stop is, that's your beginning land. That's what we started out with. Then we bought this land, the where I'm standing right now, and this is where the fish farm is. See how it's blue right here? That's water, I believe. Because see, this is like this little river there. And then we bought this land because I needed a place to put bees, and they take up a lot of space. And then we also bought this land. Right now, I don't have any plans for it, but I was able to buy it because I had the coins and everything. So I just went ahead and got it just to give us a little bit more space. But that's how the map works. And eventually, what I, I think will show this, we're going to go visit Steffi on her farm, and she'll be able to show us even more about the maps and how to get around on the maps. But um, speaking of going and visiting Steffi, oh wait, before we do, I wanted to show you, um, look how much we've, we've added in chickens. Now isn't that amazing? We started out with just a few little chickens in that first quest we got and have ended up with all kinds of chickens. So we put up all here. Oh, looks like they need to be fed. Let's go ahead and move back down into our uh, easy view that oh my goodness they're also hungry in fact i need to feed these guys twice and we can harvest their eggs oh my gosh i think we'll just leave them for now though because i just want to really go over and visit steppy real quick but let's do feed our animals um they are very hungry with i found feeding animals keeps you active that's for sure um when I, when I would be in game, I would just run by here all the time. See, they needed to be fed twice. I would be running by doing this and running around doing that. And so I would end up uh, feeding them all the time. And that worked out better. At first, it was kind of annoying to me. It just seemed like they never would do anything. Because if they're not being fed, uh, they don't produce. So you definitely want to keep your animals fed. But uh, now it's dark and it's raining. It might be a good time to go visit Steffi. Let's go ahead and um, looks like we can uh, uh, get some diamonds from our winery. But um, I also wanted to show you real quick, which Steffi's going to show you this on hers. We got houses in game. And this is what it looks like after I have I've, I bought the house and then I added one day to it. And this is what the second stage. You have to build it in four stages. But Steffi has some houses already done. So I definitely want to go over and show you. I'll show you my tree house really quickly. This is also the second stage of the tree house. Isn't this amazing what they've done? But enough of my farm. I want to go visit Steffi. So the way you do that, you do ESC. 
and you go to exit game and it says do you want to leave the current game and I'm I'm thinking the wording is a little bit confusing like Steffi had said so we're not leaving the game but we're leaving our farm I think the current game is my farm so now we want to oh looks like I have some customizations too we'll have to check that out later all right so let's find farms we're looking for games and it'll take just a minute. We showed how to do this before, but we didn't actually port to anybody. <laughs> so it's going to take a minute, I think, because it is looking for for all the all the games, all the people playing right now. And there it is. And look, Steffi's at the top again. Oh, look, here's Blue Iris. She's our friend from the UK. Here's Rav. Rav's here too. We'll definitely be, be visiting them in another episode. But for now, let's go visit Steffi. So all we do is click on her name, and it will take us to her bus stop at her farm. Look, oh my goodness. Hi, Steffi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Bunny Hi. Hollow. Oh, it's so good to come visit your farm. Now, everybody, I have to warn you, Steffi's been playing a lot more and a lot longer so don't get overwhelmed yes please don't get overwhelmed but it's very fun and i absolutely love the game it's addicting to oh, say the yeah. least yeah and fun though it's a fun addiction that's and for super sure fun yeah all right steffi i think you had a few things you wanted to talk to us about i do so um this is where my bus stop is um, I placed it on top of the highest point in the game so that I can oh. kind of look out over my farm. Um, and you can see quite a ways. Um, Let's go into C mode. Oh my, it's dark. Goodness. Well yes. now, that brings up a question for me. You can move your bus stop. So you can oh. move your bus stop and if you want to decorate around your bus stop, um, I chose to do flags for all of our friends Aww. that we play with. So we have a British flag for Iris. We have a Norwegian flag for Rav. We have a French flag for Stefan. And, of course, an American flag for all of our American friends. Yeah, well, that so, is a very fun thing that the game does yeah. did for us. And I kind of like that when my friends come in my game, they can see my whole farm and they're not down in some trees Aww. or... That's true. Um, this is really nice. So if we look at the you. map, so you did move your bus stop. It does not have to be in the center of your map. That's it does good to not. Know. And as you can see on my map, all of the obviously the the open part of my of my lands has all the different colors and oh, where you've opened up. Where, where you, I've opened where you've new expanded lands. Your land. Where I have expanded, yes. Oh. And then the places that are kind of dark brown, those I have not opened. I still have ten lands to open. Oh my goodness, that's great. So, yeah, it gives you a ton of land to build on, and you will need it, that's for sure. You'll see that there are numbers on my map. I was just going to ask, what do these numbers mean? Yes, so one... So in this game, we have teleporters because oh. your map is so huge. Um, it's nice to be able to travel quickly, especially yes. when your seasons change, if you have your crops planted by season. Um, so I have only two teleporters right now. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that I put the particular teleporters at these locations is because that's where my large gas stations are. That is very wise. So if my tractor so runs let's out port of gas, to one of these. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and port to number one. Okay. So you click wow, on it. Wow, that was instant. <laughs> wow. Now that that made me wonder about something. Are you able to transport back to your bus stop? Yes. So your that's like a transporter. Stop, yeah. So actually, on your map, you have three areas right now. And it looks like to me you've done a really good job of placing them so that, you know, they're very equally placed out so you can equally go pretty much anywhere on your map. Yeah. I definitely need good. more, okay. for sure. Yeah. Uh, but for now. All right. 
I don't have any rhyme or reason to my farm. Um, <laughs> I go for the aesthetic. In fact, I had a, a visitor uh-huh. the other day. Um, I don't know him. He came into my farm, and his name was Iron Man. And he said, I like that you've gone for the aesthetic rather than the <laughs> logic. Uh-huh. I can't remember exactly uh-huh. what, but... Um, I was I wasn't sure how to take that, but I definitely <laughs> for me the decorating is the what's fun for me. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, I love how you have kites. So you had said to me, you had told me that the kites were for a purpose. Well, you can decorate with the kites. You can put kites anywhere. I chose to put my kites by my gas stations. That way, if I'm off, I can look up and I know that where there's a kite, mm-hmm. I know I can go run quickly over nice. to fill up my gas tank. Nice. Oh, looks like you have a visitor. Yes. So, um, it looks like someone has joined. So, um, the way that you chat in this game is you press T. We talked about that earlier, what oh, T meant. Yes. So, I remember in one of our... In one of our episodes, you had said you'd tell us later what T means. So if we yeah. push T, oh, yes. So T brought up the chat, and then I can just type. Uh-huh, and you can tell them hello, and you oh, can chat okay. with them and see. Yeah. They said yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, so, BB. wonder what that means. Hi, um, Bunny. Oh, Bunny. I'm Paula. not sure. Or, um, so can you make emotes? No, not quite. Can't make emotes yet. Maybe they'll put emotes in. Yeah, maybe. All right, so now we got distracted a little bit by the visitor, but what else did you want to show us in your farm? Um, So I just, right now I think I'd like to show you about um, some of the decorating things that you can do in your farm. Um, One thing, I've gotten a lot of ideas from other farms, but... um, I like to, I like the aesthetic part of it, as I mentioned, and so I try to spread out my crops and put things between so I just don't have a big, giant land, Mm -hmm. all of crops, Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'll show you. I use pretty much everything in the game um, at my disposal, so over here, if you come over... Hold on one second. I'm going to show people. I actually am able to remove the little icons... So we can see better. Maybe this is more fun. Um, let's put no. No icons. This is kind of fun to do if you don't care about looking at the icons for right now. I mean, if you're if you're really in, in if you need to know about your crops, but we don't. I don't need to know about your crops. So this way, we don't yeah. have to look at the icons. So that I love that setting that they've included in the game. Okay. All right, so go ahead, Steffi. Sorry for the interruption. No, no, that's super important, especially if you want a video, too. Yeah. You can To know you can do that. This is much better. Yes, and you can see it's a lot prettier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, so, as I said, I don't like to have just crops and crops and crops, so I try to intermingle it. These trees that you're seeing, the willow trees, oh. These can't be harvested. They're purely for decoration. Oh, pretty. Oh, those are and, very pretty. Um, one thing is I, um, and this is just a preference for me, like if I had plant, planted a harvestable tree here, it would be difficult for me to remember that this one tree was here. Yes. So uh, they've added um, these trees as well as you'll see some um, fir trees mm. and I'll show you those as well okay but I like to make my things pretty so you'll see um, with my animals you'll see I always put down a water trough oh. even though they don't need it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I always put down a coop oh yeah a chicken even coop. Though, yeah um, they don't go inside or use it for any purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, Too bad that if you have a chicken coop near your chickens, they lay faster. That would be fun. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, and then I always put a little barn, and I put yeah. these little, I don't even know what these are called, supplies. Bags, bags of feed. And I put hay bales, yeah. and I put a fence. And um, it looks like you have a sign over here with a chicken painted on it. Yeah, and so that's 
that's my chicken. These are my it's New Hampshire so chickens. So fun. So, and I also, this piece of land is really odd shaped. Yeah. And so I use the land. Um, it's not really a great piece of land for crops. Mm -hmm. Let me show. So you can see if I go into C mode that it's we're like up on a, a cliff kind of area. Yeah, and you can't build on the sides of hills and mm -hmm. things. And so this is just a really odd place. Yes. And so I put my chickens here to use that, to make that spot usable. Okay. And then I tried to put... Um, my crops down in so that it's easy to farm mm -hmm. um, in um, I don't know how to explain it um, sections of nine yes yes um, if like that if, makes any let's sense. put our tractor oh I have don't have a fuel yeah if you put your tractor go down grab some oh you can't see my my square no I can't see your squares let me go grab some gasoline. Just I can see it because oh, you go have, the go the other way. <laughs> you have kites. Oh yeah, that's yeah. The, that's a smaller one. There's a big gas. Well, we can show right here. We don't have to go all the way back over there. If yeah. I get on my tractor, see it shows nine plots. So you have fixed these plots so nicely. Well, for being able to harvest. Yes, and harvest quickly. Yeah. So if I had made these areas where these trees are into crop plots, it would have thrown off my yes. my section. So I like to put decorations in spots oh, that are left over. That's very smart. Um, yeah. I love, one of my favorite decorations are these little gnomes at night. Their little lights shine. Um, oh, so really? Yeah. At night, their lights shine? Yeah, so you'll find oh. these little guys all over I love garden gnomes. I think they're so cute. Um, these pots are um, decoration only. So if you go up to it and you press your space bar. Space? Mm -hmm. These are any of the things that you can put in that pot. Oh, my gosh. And you well. can um, decorate with them. You do not harvest them. Oh, oh, so that is so great to know. I had no idea. Yeah. So you put the pots down, and then you can put anything in them you want. Yes. Wow. I, and so you have some flowers in this one, right? Mm-hmm. That is just awesome. I'm so glad to know that's how that works. Yeah, it's super fun, and it's really cute yeah. how you have it decorated. I'll show you one of my mushroom that areas. It's really fun. Um, Gosh, I didn't know you here. could put anything. I figured there were just certain certain flowers you could put yeah. in them. So sometimes I use storage items to decorate as well. Mm -hmm. um, this tent um, is actually called a greenhouse. Oh, And yeah. um, when you harvest flowers, you can harvest okay. this for diamonds. Yeah. But um, I use it for decoration as well. Mm. So I have a little camping um, yeah. area set up here. It looks here. like a tent when you go camping. Yeah, yeah. and if the Aww. details are so amazing. You can sit at the picnic table. Oh, my gosh. Um, and if you look, the plates have little grilled vegetables on look them. Look how cute that Corn is. Corn on the cob. Yes. Um, and then on the grill over here, this is just simply for decoration. Um, it also has corn oh on the grill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here's one of our gnomes. It's getting nighttime, and oh, you can see. Look at this! The little lantern that oh, the gnome holds my gosh. lights up. So that adds another so cute aspect of life. Mm. And then what every farm needs, an outhouse. Oh, <laughs> but it's simply for decoration. Thank oh, goodness. you can't go in. No. Oh my gosh! And th that's a good place to put an outhouse next to a campground. Yeah, that's, that's what so I kind of thought. Perfect. Yeah. That so then, is hilarious. Um, these rivers and bridges, you can't, um, you can't manipulate. I'm not sure. What, I can't think of what yeah, that's called. Yeah, you can't even. I'm trying to go forward. I can't even yeah. go into this water. Yeah, they're so. Um, these these water masses are on the map. They're part mm, of the map. Right. And they, these bridges are pre-existing. I did not put them here. Okay. But they sure are cute. They did a good job with them. Yeah. And then um, so this. This is another place that I couldn't really put a crop on. Oh, yeah. So I just put some of my vegetable stands oh, up here. Oh, that's a smart idea. Yeah. And um, then you put this small. little hedgerow 
Mm-hmm, the, the round. Arches. That is decoration. That's one of the fences. Yeah. And our characters. I love how our characters, if you, you don't have to even push your space bar or anything. Just go up to a hedge or a fence and the character will jump right over. <laughs> and if you get stuck, that gets handy as well. <laughs> yeah. That's um, really nice. And then I try to integrate my, like I said, I integrate my animals. These are some of my fish. Um, I like to do, you'll notice I do this with all of my fish. Yay. Um, I got this idea from Stefan, actually, oh. to put the fountain in the center. Yeah. And then I have my different fish. That's um, so good. What a great idea. Yeah. And then I have my crops throughout. And I like to just even do, even if I'm not putting down an animal, I'll just put down a little barn um, just to decorate. Mm -hmm. That's Up so here, um, this is a difficult place to decorate. It's in tiers. So I've kind of made a little farmer's market. Oh, look. See, like it goes up here, then it goes down, and then it goes down again. So yes, that would be difficult to raise very many crops. Yeah. So I put my vegetable stands here. I took advantage of the um, decorations for the storage. And I have a little picnic area. Oh. Gosh, I wish it was light. Yeah. So you could see better. They have a little... Is that a... Oh, I thought that was pickles. Oh. <laughs> Those are hot dog buns, maybe, or corny dogs. Hot dogs, uh, they have a little ice cream stand here with oh. a light in it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Yeah. So Here's some fun. more of those planters. Yes. Um, this one is blue. And you chose what you wanted in there. And I chose what I wanted in there. So um, this is another storage stand. Okay, so this is one of the most fun things, I think, in this game. These balls right here, you can kick around people's farms. Oh, my goodness. So, oh. Now, now you why kick do I, it how back. do I kick it? Press your left. Um, just. Oh. oh, so you just walk up to it. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah oh, I, my gosh. That, what, so, where is and, it going to go? And the, and the further you run, the farther you can oh kick it. My gosh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So you just run up to the ball and it kicks yeah. it. And if oh you want to, gosh. so let me show you. Um, I have one. Yeah, you can, they're, they're super fun. So And it sounds so real. Yeah. So if you have people on your farm, even if you don't have settings, if you have a couple of these little beach balls around, uh -huh. they will play with them. And you'll yeah. notice that they're not on their stands. Oh, and I want to show so you, you here. know people have been kicking them. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I want to show you, I did have one. You can put them back on their stand simply by standing on um, the little oh, my happy shark stall is ready. Um, you can um, put them back on their little stand um, even if the, so if people are kicking them around and you want to put them back, you can. I can't find that other one, but I did want to show you my little mushroom. I'm so proud of this. I just love it. So what I did is I made a little, I designed a little um, mushroom area around the mushroom storage. This is actually the mushroom storage. Mm. And then what I've done is these are all the types oh. of mushrooms that you can plant. These are not harvestable. Yeah, but it's but, neat to see them all. Yeah, but so I put a planter down and I put mushrooms in them to show the different mushrooms. That's very fun. And, um, wow. Yeah. What a great idea. And so that's one um, way I decorated. And then I also like to do these. I got this idea from another farm as well. Um, these little. Oh, how cute is this? There is for your flowers. I love to do these, yeah. um, and it's four squares, so your your tractor just spins. Yeah. And wow, that's so! I love these flowers. Easy. These are some of my favorite flowers I so know. far. I love the flowers. Yeah. I just love them. There's so many different ones I have. Um, I tend to put my animals up on these. Um, you know that makes sense. These areas just because they're really hard to. Um, put down an equal amount of crops. Mm -hmm. So these are some of my horses and um, this is another decoration that they give you is this um, 
stable. Oh, um, this is neat. You can't really do anything with it. It's mm. specifically for d decoration, but it's it's fun to have them in with your horses. It just yeah. it makes it re more realistic. Yeah. Um, this is an example of a different kind of fence, and um, oh, you can actually cute. these guys aren't harvestable. Oh. Um, they're a decoration, but oh. there's rubber duckies. Yeah, that in is the so game. cute. And this is a this is. A, the multicolored fence. Yeah, um, I love that. And then, I love this little sitting area you made. This yeah, is where you, you utilize some a, pl a spot where you really couldn't put many crops or anything. Right. So it's just a little um, decorative area that I just figured out what to put there. You could put four crop plots. That was it. So. Yeah. And then these are another type of um, planter. You, you don't harvest these. Oh. Um, it's just strictly for decoration. Those are really nice. They look like real flower beds. Yeah. And compared to these, now these are harvestable. Oh, okay. Um, and the way that you know the difference is that they're flat on the ground and they have the bricks around. Yes. And, um, you yeah. kind of crunch when you walk. Yeah. Um, but you can do these different ways too, like I did mine with the pavilion, the little pavilion looking with the arches. But you can do this as well. Put some yeah. put a tree or put a put a bench. I um, really like this. Yeah. You have so many options. Everybody's farm is different. You can design it your own way. I get ideas from other farms. So that gives you some ideas at least. Yeah, lots of great ideas. And now they've added housing. So we'll right. we'll Oh, know. I think that's gonna be our next episode, Steffi. I think uh, are you gonna want to show us your house maybe? Oh, I would love to. Oh, that would be so, so fun. So fun. I can't wait for you guys to see. Yeah, so we'll talk about housing and all the decorations and maybe maybe you'll show us how to make ribbons to buy furniture. Yes, ribbons and tickets. Oh, I mean tickets. Yes, yes. I forget. I get those confused. That's okay. We want to call them tickets. Yeah. 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 All right. So I think that'll end this little episode. If you guys liked the video, please click to subscribe and leave us some comments in the comment section. And don't forget to click the little bell so Yay! that you get notifications about Zoo's videos. Oh, that's awesome. That would be so fun. We love it when people comment. I love comments, and we like hints and tips, too. So if you have any hints and tips, that would be great. But for now, I appreciate each and every one of you very, very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.